Isolated in East Tennessee stands the College Square Mall in Morristown. A survivor kind of just living its own life near the community college. Let's see what's going on in this corner of Tennessee retail. Under the guidance of Chattanooga-based CBLN Associates, College Square Mall would be underway in 1987, touted as a means to give Morristown a significant economic boost. With its nearest competition being 40 miles away in Knoxville and then 50 miles away in Johnson City, College Square Mall would be considered safe enough to gather and maintain its own market. And to this day, it remains as the only shopping mall in the region. In 1988, the mall would officially open with JCPenney, Sears, and a rare Walmart as an anchor. I say rare because it's not too often that Walmart takes up life as a mall anchor, even back in the day. Profits also reportedly signed on as an anchor for the mall and would come late to the party in 1993. Goodies was also present at the mall, albeit as a junior anchor. Now, while the mall was a popular destination and it carved a niche for itself in Morristown, none of these names are present at the mall today. As for the mall's opening, it hosted a 12-day grand opening event complete with clown shows, comedians, and an appearance by Miss Tennessee of that year, and even puppet shows. A bit of an interesting event, if you ask me. Walmart was the first anchor to go, relocating to a freestanding supercenter. Although from what I hear, this might have been a blessing in disguise as Walmart can bully malls into suicidal contracts. The vacant Walmart space would be subletted to make way for Dixie Pottery and Belk, and when Belk acquired profits, Belk opted against running a dual anchor setup and would sell the profit space to Kohl's, whom was happy to set up shop all of this happening in 2006. Dixie Pottery, however, wouldn't last long and close in 2007. This space would remain vacant until 2017 when Planet Fitness would fill in the void. Sears would be seared early on in 2013 and would get replaced partially by TJ Maxx, while the rest of the space was demolished for a Longhorn Steakhouse. There is speculation that the owners at the time were actually trying to push Sears out for new tenants. The next switch up would come in the form of 2016 with JC Penney departing the mall. Dick's Sporting Goods and Ulta Beauty, however, would come in to share the space left behind by JC Penney shortly after. In May 2017, mall staff would disclose plans to attract a Five Below and an Olive Garden to the mall as part of a redevelopment plan, which would help keep the mall fresh. And as the mall held strong, it would host a 30-year anniversary event in 2018, and a publication would highlight the mall's history, changes, and future that day. I suggest you go find the PDF of this report. It's an interesting read and gives us just about everything in this timeline. And while all of this was happening, Ashley Home Store would move into the goodies space, which had been vacant since 2009. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing at the mall? Although I could take a guess, considering 343 fucked up Halo Infinite post-launch and broke promises, Chief is probably finding another game.
Today, the mall is currently owned by Time Equities, managed by Urban Retail Properties, and it is still holding its own, even if my 2021 footage is outdated. 2020 only slowed this mall down a little bit, and it shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. While I am not the biggest fan of the current interior, I have to respect a mall that has done all in its power to adapt to changing times and markets, as well as serve a town that continues to grow, much to the dismay of the cynical who hate successful retail. Stick it to the haters, College Square. Keep on keeping on. Again, I am not a big fan of the interior of the College Square Mall. It's just so... plain and boring. I mean, credit where credit is due. This mall is holding its own and has all of its bases covered for the most part. But would it kill to have something even a little interesting in the mall's decor? Oh well, that's just me. Best I can tell, though, this mall has some real potential to last even longer, despite the economic recession we're going through. Tennessee as a whole is growing, more people are moving to here, even though the infrastructure is failing to keep up. On top of that, this mall is only dealing with competition from the retail corridor it's helped establish, as well as a handful of big box stores on the other side of town. And the only lifestyle center I can see going up in the area is some kind of business park. And get this, even with Ashley Home Store gone, it's been filled in by an entertainment venue known as Family Fun Zone. I'm telling you, this mall's future is bright. Prove me wrong. Additionally, if you're ever out this way and you want a scenic drive to partake on, you have a few points of interest out here. You have the drive up to Middlesboro, Kentucky, which will take you through the mountains around Tazewell. And if you want to get out and do things, you have the Cherokee Reservoir, the Panther Creek State Park, and plenty of golf courses to pick from. So when you do get bored of the mall's family fun center in the cinema, you can always just go outside. But that's enough from me. As we begin to wind down, what are your thoughts on the College Square Mall in Morristown, Tennessee? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do share in the comments down below, after dropping a like and maybe subscribing if you haven't already. And with this video, I believe I have covered the eastern third of Tennessee. Now I just have to figure out a plan to cover the other two thirds. Although most of the really cool malls were on this side of the state, and best I can tell, most of the rest are either very bland or have been covered to death by trend chasers. Yeah, I said it. But nonetheless, do let me know if you want me to see the rest of Tennessee's malls, even the well-known ones. Until then, thanks for having me, Morristown, Tennessee. This is Doomy Grunt, wishing you and the College Square Mall farewell and good luck in this mad, mad, mad world. <laughs>